Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Holy Potatoes, a weapons shop? I think that's how you say it. The title has so many exclamation and question marks in it, I'm not entirely sure that that is correct. Either way, this is a management game about making weapons. The idea is you have a blacksmith shop or a weapons shop. As you can see, we've got loads of little things all over here. We've got some like you know, boxes full of iron and some things that sharpen the weapons and an anvil and the drawing board and this sort of enchanting, what was it, like a furnace thing. And we have to make weapons and then we sell them and then the heroes we sell them to then tell us how good they are and then we level up and now he all of our uh, the heroes level up and then they get better and more better weapons and then in turn we have to make better weapons and then we level up and then we get money and fame and you just play it and make weapons I I first saw it and thought oh that could be interesting it could be a bit game dev tycoony I like the idea of making weapons so either way I thought I would show you a little bit of it I've played about an hour and a half an hour and three quarters so this is certainly first impressions not a review and um yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's just crack on and I'll show you a, a little bit of the game. So I can forge weapons at the bottom. You click on forge and then you can select different weapons. So each weapon, they're, they're, they're in different categories. So dagger, bow, axe, wand and unique. Um, we can... I click on each one and it shows you the materials required and then we also show the weapons growth so basically what's that say how are the weapons expected to grow growth weight uh, basically if you've got um SPD, that's speed. So if you've got uh, that higher up, the chances are that when you're sort of leveling speed up, it's going to increase faster. So that's the kitchen knife's going to have more speed than, say, strength and accuracy and magic. Magic's quite up, up there, but you can see these ones go up further. But the materials change. That requires sapphire. That one just requires iron. If we go to bow, we can see we've got a really, really good bow here. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty good, but it does require a topaz, but I do have a fair amount of it. So let's actually start that. So we start making that, and then as we can see, all of these potatoes start dancing. Yes, the people who work in your shop are actually potatoes. You've also got this dog thing that looks like a bloody crute on that just <laughs> swelled up with water. It's a bit weird. Uh, we've got a, uh, a choice of fate here. You see a uh, gentle potato in a top hat uh, walking with his apprentice outside. Could it be Professor Stanton and Fluke Spudden? Um, uh, what? There's still potatoes who wear top hats in this age? What? I don't understand. What do I pick? Um, either that one. There, uh, failed. It doesn't give me any reason to pick one or the other unless it's like a reference or something and then it's it's just sort of, you know, random chance to something to get to win one. Anyway, it's uh, popular with an area event, which basically means in Noob Village, which is one of the places we can visit to sell things and buy things and that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got a little bit of a lucky streak going on. So starch, which is our currency, as you can see, it's got a dollar symbol there. Starch. I don't know why you use the the currency of uh, basically what you're made of, but fine. Uh, starch, uh, one point ten, uh, one point three percent or times higher and hero XP is 0.8 percent so hero will go down when selling to Terry Tree Hugger in Noob Village okay fine so anyway, as you can see, we are making this weapon we can also boost it once in one like in one go so I think we will boost it with a uh, choice of fate I don't care that one yeah success uh, bulk bogan uh, attack is now a little bit higher cool let me just increase the accuracy on this we're going to boost the accuracy so what we do is we have to get someone in to uh, boost the accuracy so we can either pick Russell Russet Peters which is one of our characters we can pick uh, Laura Craft again references uh, Trevor Phillips which as far as I can tell that's obviously GDF5 uh, Spudlock Holmes is obviously Sherlock we've got Steve Flowder what is that? Stevie Wonder? Probably. And Portana, which is obviously Cortana. Uh, basically, the, the cost is different amounts, so that's cost 1.8. Uh, 1,800 generic, cur uh, cur generic uh, credits, croutons? Yeah, something like that. And uh, we do get 360 bonus off it. I'm just going to pick, basically, uh, our person, because it's basically free. And we sharpen that, and we gain a little boost, so that's fine. So we're working on this one. It's doing quite well. We can click on each of our characters and we can see they're called Bulk Bogan, which is obviously Hulk Hogan. Again, references are plenty in this game. They've got different stats. It shows you their class as well. So our current class is Designer. Uh, there's, also, there's also got sort of secondary uh, classes. So we got Explorer and Merchant. When you send them out to explore, then that'll increase and you can also bring back good stuff and then use it to build weapons. Merchant is for selling stuff as well. Our stats over here, we've got Attack, Speed, Mag, which is Magic, and and, uh, accuracy shows you how much we uh, we we have to we have to pay them a month as well, and what they're doing, which is currently working. Also, show their happiness as well, so they're currently happy. No penalty to their job performance, but um, you can change their class. I've actually changed this guy's class. He's actually a maxed out craftsman at the bottom there, as you can see. So he's very very good at um, you know boosting, or he is like he, he can actually boost. 
uh, speed, but then when you, as you level them up, you can get uh, uh, this one here. So if they're designer and craftsman, you can level them up to whatever that class is called, in which case they can boost either or, or maybe both, I don't know. Uh, either way, we'll close that, and we will close that menu as well. But yeah, basically, I, I've changed the class to try and level them up. You can see they're leveling up when they go, and start floating away in midair. I don't know why they do a dance to make the weapon. It's a bit insane. Um, UI is, well, as you can see, it's uh, very, it's everywhere, basically. Um, I'm just going to, oh, I need to select an enchantment for this weapon. I'm going to make it, I'm going to enchant it with, uh, that makes it accurate, so we'll enchant it with that one. So we uh, we give it a focus here. We've got five of, and it gives four, plus 40 accuracy, and also gives it the accurate um, trait, I guess, and then uh, prefix added, so it's now an accurate. So it's a hunter's boy, I can call it generic um, shooter if I wanted to. There we go, and we can see accurate generic shooter, so it adds the prefix there, and we can see primary stat, secondary stat, and it's not bad. There we go, not bad at all. Right, so I think I need to sell that weapon, so how do we do that? We go to the world map, and then we can go to sell weapons, so I can go to any of these areas here. This is where our generic shop is, and we can go to Noob Village, we can go to, mm, what, Murky Miso Marshes, and we can go to the Tower Tower of Root Beer. So we can click on that, and we might as well sell, what have we got to sell, actually? We've We've got the generic shooter and a light kitchen knife. Now, these people here, we've got two mages. Uh, we've got a mage, a wizard, a barbarian, and a rogue. Now, each person you can sell to, as you can see, has a primary stat. So, magic in this case, the guy I'm currently looking at, um, Harry Oakwand. His secondary stat is accuracy. He likes wands and dislikes daggers. So, basically, he's got nothing that I really want to sell up there. This one likes an axe and a dagger. You know, I'm going to close that. I think I'm going to go here. I believe Terry Tree Hugger requires a bow that likes speed, which is good. And we also have have a thief which likes um speed as well so we're gonna we're gonna sell it we're gonna basically you're gonna select these weapons and you can get up to three weapons sold there i'm gonna select a i'm gonna select a smith to go and go out and sell i'm gonna select a La uh, laura craft because she's a level five merchant and doing quite well i did try to level up bulk bogan but it was getting nowhere let's start selling so basically she teleports off and she's gone uh, i'm also going to go to explore and I want to say explore this area, and because there's still a couple of enchantments that we haven't found, we're going to send one of our explorers off, Bulk Bogan. As you can see, he's a level 4 explorer, and we'll start exploring again. He'll teleport and go off. We also need to go send someone on vacation, and I think we'll send them over to there. And it does cost some money to do that. We're going to sell uh, Vlaunder Smith because he's currently unhappy, and we need to get his happiness back up. So there we go. And this guy is all alone looking after the weapon shop. You can't send him off because you need at least one person in the shop. So, choice of fate. I'm not even going to I'm just going to pick one. There we go. I've just got some starch. Fine. Uh, like I said, there doesn't really seem to be any uh, sort of reason to read them all and check them out. And I don't think, uh, you know, even when I pick, oh, that one should be right. So here we go. Chase third. Uh, a gunman wanders into your shop and hands you a small digital device. I, I don't really know. I don't get any reference there. I'm just going to pick the left one. I failed. So, I, Bulk Bogan's got some speed, minus speed. Um, sometimes, like I say, if there's a reference, then maybe you can, uh, you know, understand it. Maybe not. Quick run down the UI while nothing's going on. Top left shows our name. Our, gen our name is Generic Potato. And we've got Generic Shop as our shop. We're currently level one. Shows how much starch we've got. Shows you our shop fame. Uh, shop, more shop fame the better. We're trying to reach uh, 200, uh, 2,250 shop fame. Um, oh, looks like we've got the gold hammer awards popping up now. I'll just finish the UI rundown. Uh, next one's tickets where you unlock stuff. The next one is how many people you can have in your shop for. For your shop does. You do change shops as far as I can tell and you get better shops. Time controls on the top. We've got some time of year and stuff on the right hand side with um, little effects, status effects, objectives there. On the bottom right we have like a little readout of what's happening. That's quite useful for seeing where people are and what they're doing. On the bottom all of our controls for different areas, so forging or opening up another menu. As you saw, I sent people on vacation. And the bottom, you can see this, these all flashing. Basically, these are my people working in the shop. As far as I can tell, you can have 10 people in total once you upgrade your shop, but obviously I've not got there. I'm just assuming because there's that much space. Um... And obviously they're flashing at the moment because I want they want me to click on them for because they've got something to say and probably come back. Anyway, looks like we've got the Golden Hammer Awards, an annual event where the best weapon is uh, best weapon made in the air is acknowledged. So let's go to this one. I've never been to this. So ladies and gentlemen, wel welcome to the annual Golden Hammer Awards. This year we'll be presenting the Fastest Weapon Award, the Most Magical Weapon Award, and the Overall Best Weapon Award. So first up is the Fastest Weapon Award. So we've got, so here are the nominees. Let's welcome the the judges we've currently got Dirk from generic shop I was go I, I did name all of the weapons but I just couldn't be bothered after a while because I was spending so much time naming the weapons I just yeah whatever you can have the whatever name it uh, puts it puts on there so 
We've got the Dirk. That you can see it's 196 speed. We've got another Dirk and a couple of other by all Konami's or whatever. And so welcome the judges. So we've got three judges here. So that one seems look good. That seems like it. I've got judging. Oh, the judging ends in a little bit. I can actually bribe. I didn't realise that. Oh, and as you do that, this guy pops out to see if there's any uh, bri like bribing going on. And no, there's no bribing going on here. No, nothing going on here. No, nothing. So, the results are in. The winner of the Fastest Weapon Award is... Yeah. Dirk by Generic Shop. Da -da -da -da. Mine's the best weapon in the world. Your award is 3,500 starch. Not bad. Next up is the most magical weapon award. I'm not even seeded. <laughs> yes, okay, that's, let's just skip that. Um, and it is someone else. I don't really care. Yes, apparently that one where that one, that, they've got some money. So, last but not least, the overall best weapon award. Here are the nominees. Light kitchen knife. Oh, my good grief. And then all of this other stuff here. You know what? I'm not even going to bribe. That, that guy's saying mine's looking good. I could bribe a couple of these. Chance up, chance up, chance up, chance up, chance up, maybe. Oh, I guess you can be disqualified. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing you can be disqualified, so I'm not going to do that any further. I don't think I'm going to get this one. Results are in, and uh, yeah, it's not me. So, yeah, Lightning Bolt by Komani. Well done. Thank you for attending this year's Golden Hammer Awards. Hope to see you next year. So we've got the fastest weapon. That's okay, it's not bad. Right, bottom left, these guys are shouting. So... I need to sell, uh, this is, uh, I sent uh, Laura off to go on, uh, uh, is it Lara Croft? Uh, no, Lara Craft, that's the one. Uh, Laura, no, La Laura Craft, that's the one, not Laura Craft, doesn't really matter, does it? You know, it's, it's supposed to be Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, we all know this. Right, so, uh, sent her off to go and sell weapons. So, we can sell them to anyone we want, as you can see, they've got uh, three, well, four characters here, a weapon in the middle. I can say, who do I want to sell my weapon to? Which is a bit weird. You would think it would be a case of someone come along and just buy the weapons or there would be a bidding process. But I guess there is a bit, a bit of a bidding process. They've basically said, this is how much I'm going to pay you. So you can give them to whoever you want. Each character, as I've already shown you, has a primary start in likes and dislikes. This is the nice light kitchen knife. I'm going to sell it to them because they're going to give me the most money. Sell. It also shows you what they will level up to. Are you sure you want to sell this weapon to Terry Treehugger for 2,127? Yes, yes I do. So, we've now got a nice bow, and nobody wants it, as far as I can tell. That guy, oh no, that guy will give us uh, 1,400 for it. Yeah, you can have it then. I could bring it back with me, but I'm sick of bringing it back. So, what else have we got to do here? Bulk Morgan has, oh, he's actually done some exploring. He's found some materials. We found some bronze. We found some iron, which looks like a piston head. Found some rubies, topaz. We've got some enchantments uh, and some relics. So, we'll just say continue, and then we need to bring him back. So, I'll put him in the designer's area, because that's where he's currently trying to train up. Let's also bring back um, <laughs> Blunder Smith from the... Uh, from, from his little holiday, and we'll put him there as well. So there we are, and we'll bring back uh, Laura Craft, and we can see we've got a little readout. There we go, four grand we've made, what we've sold, how much we've sold, how much we've made overall, and what was split between, merchant bonus, because we had a little thing going, and uh, because of our you know our level up as well, and she's actually leveled up in merchant as well, and it shows you the, we the weapon rating, so we'll continue, fantastic, we'll bring her back, and there we go, and immediately, as soon as she's back, I'm actually going to say, send on vacation, because she is actually, she's not doing too well, she's, she's a bit unhappy, as you can see, look, oh, she's a bit unhappy, she's stressed, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna actually send on vacation, is there anywhere else I can send her to? Uh, no, nah, see, it's currently winter, so there's, it's not very good there. Mm. Yeah, you can go there. Sendage, go on vacation. So she can go off. Let's do a bit of research. Okay, let's unlock something else. So research, very simple. You can, as you as you explore, you find different things, and then you can basically scroll down and basically match two things together and say, yeah, that one there, let's match them two together. And then you need to sell, sell someone to go and research it. So in this case, it requires someone with speed. Send him off there and start research. And he'll basically walk over to this sort of weird bookcase. It'll go down and then the portal activate and then a portal to the research zone opens and he goes off and he's gone. <laughs> That's it. So, how close are we for our next objective? Uh, research, uh, our reach, 2,250 fame. Not bad. We could uh, look at a contract. We've got different contracts we can do. So we can break a, oh, a black pot, a, sta a standard black pot. It's not a weapon. It's just a contract. It's things like making horseshoes and pots and 
things like that and I don't know, jacks for lifting up lorries or whatever. So we are starting to make this. You can see the percentage, what well, actually complete and how long we've got to do that. This dog walks around and it doesn't really do anything as far as I can tell. You do have to feed it, so I'm just going to feed it there. There is a story that goes with this, but honestly, I don't really pay much attention. Looks like um, she's back from holidays, so I'll bring her back. And there we are. I don't know how thorough where the story is. I mean, I've been reading bits of it. Basically, your grandfather used to own the shop and there's an agent who's basically sort of scammed him out of it. I think the dog's actually your grandfather. Spoiler alert, but who knows? We'll see later on, won't we? Right, um, what else we need to do? Well, I'm just making this thing here and apparently we're not getting anywhere with it because we haven't got anyone working over here. That's why. So we need at least 35 there and yeah, I failed the contract. Oh, what a shame. Right. I'm going to wait for this guy to come back on research and then everybody's here. So we've now researched. We've got the ice wand. We'll bring them back. And there we go. And now we're going to do some forging. So we can make that wand if we want to. And I think we will. We'll start making that. And I think we will boost its magic and we will get uh, Portana, which is freelancer basically. They come in, they do the thing. Start. So they're going to start enchanting. And it's sort of a random chance um, to, for this to basically stop. There we go, and there's all the bonuses we've got. Not bad at all. Sweet. So that's a really, really good magical weapon already because it's on. It's up to 201, and it's still going up. You can see the colours change because that's now our primary stat. That's a secondary stat, which is all good. It shows you the boost count, which is one of one. We've only used the one. Uh, that's fine. You can do other things around your shop as well. You can go to your... Uh, where is it? Your shop upgrade, and you can place things around so you can... Like this carpet here, that was placed there to tie the room together, obviously. And then the walls, we can change the walls so we can unequip the the thing around there. At the moment, I don't think we can because we've um, we're still making stuff. And each upgrade gives you a little bonus. So currently, the smith is at plus two accuracy or two percent accuracy. We've got like little sort of decorations as well. Oh, can we equip that? Oh yeah, we can. We can switch them around. So I can change like a plant pot. There's currently a plant pot down there. I can change it to this whatever this speed four percent there, which is like a weird. I don't know what it is. It's a like marvel with cards on the top on the side it's, 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 it's a bit weird anyway how are the levels going here she is now an explorer level three metal worker level three that's fine what's this guy's enchanter level four this guy a designer level three and this guy is a metal worker level five i could change his class and train them up in other things i assume it's better to train them up in different things but i don't really know that i'm going to give this a, a dazzling effect there we go which gives it 40 magic as well and there we go, it's now prefix added dazzling, and we're just going to call it generic wand one. And job done. Fantastic. Uh, let's forge another weapon. Let's actually make another one. We're going to make this. Actually, we're going to make the same one. Do we make the same one? We'll make the same one, and we'll, we'll put it, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll actually not spend loads of money on it this time, and we'll just let them crack on. Um, click on the dog to feed him. You can just basically make it just I think if you click on him loads of times you probably explode from all the food he's eating it looks a bit weird doesn't it <laughs> as you can see on the outside of the shop it's all uh, gone snowy and stuff you're on this weird plane it reminds me of sort of Bastion actually the way it's sort of set out it's weird tiles and such but yeah it's all snowing and the the weather does change and you get like sea roaring up here when it's in the summertime and things like that you're on this weird plane of existence it's not really explained but um, you know it's quite cute and it's uh, it's it looks good enough Let's put a dazzling enchantment on there. I'm actually running out of dazzling enchantments. And boom. We're now uh, generic one, two. There we go. Right, okay. I think we will build one more item. Do you want to build one more item? Forge one more item. And um, we could do this unique thing. Uh, the busted sword. We made that for a contract when a hero turned up. I think we're going to make a big heavy axe. So here we go. We'll say you. Steve Mobb, Steve Jobs, obviously. Donald Mc... Oh, my God. Ronald McDonald. And there's Charlie Brown there as well. The amount of people... The amount of references in this game is uh, off the dial. Let's just speed up to max speed. Oh, payday's arriving to, uh, soon. We need to pay 2,357. I've got five grand, and I haven't sold any of the weapons that I've made so far. I'm only going to make the three, and then I'll send people off to go and crack on and do their thing. Looks like we've got an area event. Uh, starch is times 1.1%, or 1.1 rather, and hero XP is a little bit less when uh, selling to Frazen Fist Fury in the noob village. So we might sell there, we might not. This weapon's almost done. And as soon as it is, I just want to run down and make sure that everybody is happy. As long as they're happy, that's fine. Then I can, uh, let me just put a vicious, let's call this a vicious heavy axe. Preset, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, generic Axe 1. Sorted. Vicious GA1. 
And yeah, it looks like everybody is happy. So I'm going to go to the world map and I'm going to sell weapons. We're going to bring them over here. And we do have a couple of wands that we want to sell. So I'll sell these wands. And there's a barbarian over there as well. Good. So we'll bring uh, Laura over there and we'll start selling. I think we will also go for some exploration. And we will send... Actually, no, we can send them over here. Yeah, there's a couple of things we haven't found yet. We'll sell bulk. We'll sell, send bulk over there. And I think we will also train someone up. So we'll go to Noob Village. And we will send over uh, Vonda. Because they're an enchanter. And hopefully max their level out. There we go. And they'll get to level 5. Nice. So we just need to wait for them to, I guess, come back. Oh, not come back because they'll be on the bottom left. They'll pop up. There we go. So we want to sell some stuff here. So we could uh, sell it to them for 2,800 and that would max their level out. So we're going to do that one. Um, and the more you, you know, the better the weapons you make and the more you sell them for and the more experience they get, the higher your fame and stuff. So we're going to sell it to them. Do you want to sell them? Yes, I do. The next one will go to them because it, basically if they give you the most money, that's pretty much who I give it to and sell it to them. And there we go. So we've made quite a bit of money actually. About 2,000 each there. So, you know, not bad at all. We could do some more research, but currently that guy can't go anywhere. So it's a bit problematic. And right, she's back. And as you can see, nine grand. Not bad at all. And that's, an, that's rating S. Super, maybe? Who knows? Let's put them over there. And my fame has gone up dramatically. That's quite good. Uh, here's my smith. And uh, they didn't really level up much. So we'll put them back there. And we'll bring everybody back. There's a nice little uh, exploration from bulk. And we'll bring them over there. But you can basically see what sort of things you do. We do need to do a little bit more research. And there's a nice little stabbing device there. We'll send bulk over to research. You can not send more than... Uh, one person at a time to do research. Let's do a bit of forging. Who have we got on the go here? You were actually... You're, you were doing metal worker, to be fair. So we don't have anyone that can do... Um, that, that can do attack. So the best thing, to, best thing to do is find a weapon that's not very good with attack. We don't want to make axes then, do we? Uh, make that, fr that frost one again was pretty good. Let's uh, level that up with uh, Cortana or Portana. And again, looks how, look how, how it's pretty good, that isn't it? Already 188 because of that boost. Nice day today, they're saying. Very good. But uh, you can see pretty much what you do. Now, as I said, I've only played this for about an hour and a half, but this is pretty much uh, what you'll you know what you'll be doing for at least the first couple of hours. There's a couple of things I haven't shown you. Uh, inventory, there's all of the things that we have in our inventory. Oh, oh, that's all things. There's my enchantments. There's the materials. There's the relics that we have. What you do is you combine the relics for the research. You've already seen that. I've also got my weapons chest. It shows you all weapons, whether they're sold or not. It shows the daggers, things like that. And then we can go at the bottom and say in stock. So currently we have no weapons in stock. And basically you can filter it out. And it's easy to see. And you can click on it. And it shows you who we sold it to and all the weapon stats. So it's, it's all the information's there and stuff. And, yeah, I guess it's that that's pretty much the game. Uh, Aesthetic Potato is smiling for me to where he stops and says, B A. Now, B E A. Beautiful! Oh, gets mad at you for throwing off his rhythm and summons heaven wrath upon you. Accuracy is lowered. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, but this is pretty much the game. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know who it's for. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't mind it. It's. A lot of it's automated though, I mean, I, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is pretty much complete, there's no real, oh, I need to, I, I think I should do this, I think you should do this, it's either completely random, or, well, that's obvious, I should do that. So, it's got this cutie art style, and I guess it is for, I, I don't know, it's, it, it, it is what it is, right? It's, it's, I'm, like I say, I'm hard, I, I feel, it's, it's difficult to really uh, determine who it's for. Like, it, it's it's something that I probably am going to play a little bit more of, but and it's a good time sink, but I don't think it's any more than that, I, because, you know, there's not a lot to it. But it does look good, it plays well. Uh, it's not overly expensive, but maybe a little bit too high for some people, but again, links in the description, you can make your own mind up about the price on it. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. I think... I think when I looked at it and originally thought, oh, if it's going to be like Game Dev Tycoon sort of style. And I thought, you know, if it's going to be like that, I, I like it. I I think that's got a lot more, you know, it's got not, it hasn't got the depth of Game Dev Tycoon. And say that, you know, Game Dev Tycoon isn't that deep in the first place. But, 
you know, you can you can tweak things and move stuff around, and maybe later on when you get a bigger workshop, things change a bit. But um, as a first impressions, it's all right. You know, it, as I said, it is what it is. Um, I don't think it's bad. Certainly, I think it's just it's just a, it's not going to be for everybody. You're either going to look at this and go, I hate the way it looks, the music was monotonous, whatever. Uh, it looks like we've got a bit of payday there, and the oh, everything's changing. Look, oh. Uh, chance of fate, good, good. Um, you can see all the snow's gone, and uh, we are now into uh, month one, first year two. Not bad. But yeah, it's, it is what it is, as I said. Some people are going to look at it and go, I hate the look of it, I hate the style, blah, blah. Some people are going to go, oh, it's really good, you can spend loads of time on it. And it's relaxing, you know, there's no real hassle. You can just, you know, play it at your leisure, which, again, is what it's, uh, you know, is part of its charm. Link's in the description, you can check it out yourself. I give it a sort of tentative recommendation if you want a really light uh, sim game. If you want something any more complex or you don't really like the look of it, then it's definitely not for you. You know, if you want something complicated or, you know, more in depth, then it's just stay away from it entirely. But yeah, it's uh, it's different. You know, the theme's different, certainly. <laughs> you can check it out yourselves. As I said, the links are in the description so you can have a look. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Comments in the comments and generic partings. I should say potatoings because that's because it's potato. No, I shouldn't have said that. <sighs>